What's up guys, Sean Ogle of Breaking80.com. We're out here at Sahali Golf Club right now. Not the famous one in Seattle, but the little par three course in Clackamas, Oregon. And we're testing out a new app called Tour Caddy by ShotZoom. I have been really, really excited for this app ever since I saw it come out because I've been using GolfShot GPS for the last two years and this integrates all of my old data into this new GPS system that's supposed to have you know, better features and a much sexier, sleeker design. Is it actually a better app? You're gonna have to stay tuned to find out. Real quick, let's jump into GolfShot GPS. We're gonna look at some of the pros and some of the cons. One of the things, as I mentioned, that I really like is the fact it takes all of my shot zoom data from Golf Shot GPS and it puts it in this app so I can see all of my old rounds that I've played over the last couple of years. So I can go through, I can see all my stats for it, which is fantastic. I'd be really disappointed if I lost all of those stats by switching to a different app. Also, as you can see, this Academy feature up here on the top right, It'll analyze my game and make video recommendations based on what they think I need to work on. So, for instance, you know, my average driver distance is 244 yards, which is better than the 229-yard average for people in my handicap. So, it gives me recommendations based on that. So, you know, high launch, low spin, how to increase club head speed, power draw, power fade. These videos are high quality, short, and uh, actually, you know, definitely worth taking a look at. Unfortunately, the rest of the app and the app that's the part that's most um, important is the playability and the on course usability. So we go play golf, it'll find some place close, East Moreland, play from the blues, get going. And so as you can hear, it's got it seems to have a really sleek look to it. You can see the great aerial view. Um, the problem is, is when you're actually on the course, the way it presents the information and the information that it's giving you is not nearly as good as it should be. So up top, this is one of the biggest problems I've got with golf shot. That 244, I would expect that to be the distance to the green when in fact that's the distance it's expecting me to hit my drive. So you can adjust this, you know, just by grabbing that big circle and you can say, okay, you know, how far am I going to be if I hit it to that bunker here, which is, you know, relatively useful, but I thought it was better, um, better implemented within golf shot gps um, up here it's telling me what its recommendation is so this is the caddy part so you see the big one wood um, and the 244 yards and 89 percent it's telling me that it's expecting to hit my driver 244 and 89 percent of the time i'm going to hit the fairway well that 89 percent is completely irrelevant to me it's not like I'm tracking every single drive and every single shot I hit. A great example of this was I was 182 yards from the green, and it recommended I hit my 7-iron because I had hit and recorded one 7-iron that went 174 yards. You know, realistically, that's a 6-iron, maybe even a 5-iron, depending on the wood the wind for me. So if I'm taking its advice, you know, it really isn't going to do me very much good. And so the fact they make that so prominent just didn't seem to work very well for me. Also, something when you were on the course uh, that really bothered me is the GPS was almost unusable. When you're in the bottom right, you see that track button. You can actually track a drive just simply by hitting that, or any shot for that matter. Um, I would stand over the ball, and it would bounce back and forth between you know, 20, 30, 40 yards difference for a solid minute. You know, really wasting my time and not giving me an accurate number. Uh, there's also no real clear way for how to turn it off. So I think you just hit it again, and it'll pull up this screen. Um, you hit save, delete, missed write, uh, which is good. The problem is, is if the GPS doesn't work, then that feature is pretty much unusable. Uh, same thing goes for shot distances. You know, over on the left, you can see, you know, all the different, all the distances, which is nice. But again, GPS wasn't working very well. So I found this to not be a very useful feature. Um, you can get to all your other menu options by sliding up that big one where you've got all kinds of stuff you can do including get smart or aggressive caddy advice. And I had it on smart and it was still telling me to be pretty aggressive. So even though it's kind of sleek, kind of sexy, you can see this preview where you can, you know, get, you know, right up close with, uh, with your round, the usability for on the course just isn't all that great. Yes, this looks pretty cool, but I found it to be not very useful. So we're finishing up our second round with the Tour Caddy GPS app, and I gotta say, I'm just as disappointed today as I was in the first round. Simple things like messy UI that doesn't allow you to get what you need quickly while you're on the golf course make this, you know, an almost unusable app. The GPS bounces all over the place, and the Caddy feature, probably one of the most irrelevant, unusable features of the entire thing. 
in the end, I give it a C minus. While it had a lot of promise with uh, some cool features and the Academy features are pretty cool, what I would say is stick with Golf Shot GPS for now. It's by far the best golf GPS I've found and I think that's gonna be your best bet at this point. So check out more reviews at breaking80.com and we'll see you guys next time.